Hey, what's going on everyone? Joe Menza here, and today I'm going to do a nice little easy watercolor painting, hopefully geared for beginners and those having trouble with skies. Um, using a little, this is my little water bottle I cut down uh, just to use for a, a little rinsing for my brush. And I'm working on 9 by 12 Strathmore watercolor paper for Strathmore 400. And I'm going to be using the Paul Rubens palette colors. And we're going to start off here by wetting the paper down. And I'll set my little cup here and little have always have a little towel just to tap your brush on to get off excess water is always helpful. So I'm just going to wet the paper down here. I'm using the medium size hake or hake brush and I'm just doing some vertical strokes down because I'm going to want that water to run down. So just some nice strokes get a nice sheen of water on the paper. And then I'm going to take some deep ultramarine blue, that's what they call it in the Paul Rubens paint. Very small tubes. Um, they're like five mils, these little tubes. You can get bigger ones. Got them off Amazon. They have nice colors. They do nice on the palette. They don't break up or they're not chalky. So, and I've also used some quinacridone rose here mixed with the blue. Makes a nice purple. And I want this to kind of run down. So I'm doing this at the top. So if you're having trouble getting a sky, let the watercolor do the work. Let the water do the work for you and just quickly put in some strokes of paint and then let it run a little bit. Get out a spray bottle. If you have a finer spray bottle, it's uh, probably going to work a little bit better so you don't get too many heavy droplets. Um, the little small pump spray bottles, the ones they, they sell from, I think it's Cheap Joe's. Uh, one of those, but they sell little spray bottles that you can mist. Um, if you're using like a Windex type bottle, you're going to get more blobs, which actually could be helpful in certain situations. So right now, though, I'm just going to use a regular spray bottle uh, and just let this run down. And it'll look kind of like a rainy, maybe a stormy scene. Now, you can do different things with this. I'm painting at a pretty good angle here, probably about what, you know, almost vertical angle here. But you can paint it flat and then lift up your board and then let it run. You can turn it the other way and let it run back. Just experiment and have fun. That's what this is. You may not like the results of this, um, may not be for you, but I think the results are fun. It's something to play with. You're getting random results. You're not really controlling it, you know, too much outside of the color. Uh, but at least it gives you a chance to create a background that you may enjoy. And you can just have fun with it. So you can see right now those colors kind of running down. And it just looks like a downpour of some kind. And again, how much water you use how much tilting of your board, those are all going to have an effect. Now, if you want just, you don't want any running, you're not going to want to tilt your board. Now I'm going to use that same color on the bottom, the same colors on my brush, and I'm just going to put in uh, maybe for some water or something down below. So uh, we're ready for that. So here's what we got. Let's take a zoom in and take a look around. Now, maybe you uh, don't care for it. it. You may not. It may not be something you like. Remember I was telling you about turning it upside down. You can actually turn this upside down and make a water scene. But the idea here is to make the paint flow in such a way that you come up with patterns that, you know, you, when you try to paint something, when you try to do a cloud, a lot of times it doesn't come out. There might be a way to get that that doesn't really involve, you know, totally deep painting, uh, a specific fussy painting, detail work. 
So you can see here on this paper, you can see the, you can see all of the uh, diffusion granulation. Now, depending on what you fill it with, it could be something really unique. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now we ask ourselves, well, what can we fill it with? Our backdrop, what do we want to put on here? Maybe some nice hills, some nice grass. We're going to keep it very simple. And we're just going to take our smaller hake brush and just take some lemon yellow. Nice and bright. It's probably got a little bit of blue on it still, so it's a little on the green side, which is okay. I'm just going to rough in some shapes in the background here. Very simple, using the corner of the brush and a little bit on the bottom so that we end up shaping a small lagoon or lake or pool, whatever you want to refer to it as, down below. Going with bright colors and then on top of that, going to come back with some sap green, which I don't always use. This is uh, some sap green with some Payne's gray and blue mixed in with it. So progressively going darker. And just coming back in with the fan brush. With some even darker color, more Payne's gray on the brush. Payne's gray, if you don't know already, is a combination of black and blue to already give you a dark color that's not so black and so dark. It's a great for mixing in with making your greens darker. Now I'm gonna give that a little spray like I did the sky. Now I had let the sky dry. Okay, we're gonna make some tree shapes here. Just some shapes that in the distance will make sense. And the fan, a good stiff fan brush is perfect for doing these kinds of shapes. Turn it sideways and you can make little evergreens and things like that. And I'm just going to shape that shoreline a little bit. in with my rigger brush. If I had to have three brushes, I could go on a desert island and I only would be able to have three brushes. It would have to be my hake, my smaller hake, I would say, just because um, sometimes you just need a smaller one, um, my medium size hake, and my fan brush and rigger brush. Of course, I'd be without a flat brush, but you can still use the hake. If you flatten and you can get a chiseled edge, you can still use that as a flat brush. I'm just making some verticals back here just to make things believable. If you look at this picture, it just kind of looks like the skies are pouring out and you get this nice greenery below growing as a result. It doesn't really look necessarily like a sky, but you, it does look like a sky. And depending on how you angle your board when you let the paint run, you can limit the amount of cascade that comes down. So it's really up to you. You can turn things, you can tilt your board back, forward. You know, always keep that as an option. That's why even though I'm on a table or an easel, whatever I'm on, I always clip my paper to some other board that I can pick up manually. So I'm just fooling around with this 
shoreline here. And you can see the way that paint has run, if you like that. Um, it just creates a lot of little textural elements. I personally like when it does that. Now I'm using the side of the fan brush. When you use it sideways like that, you can make instant trees. Instant trees, instant grass. I can't imagine not having a fan brush. So this painting was really done. We used ultramarine blue, some alizarin or some quinacridone rose mixed together to make that purple. I'm using the end, I couldn't find a card, so I'm using the end of my paint tube to scratch in a few little rocks. We also used lemon yellow, Payne's gray, sap green, and that's really it. Easy painting, fun painting. Do it, change it up a little bit. You'll need a water bottle to create that run effect. You can take an old Windex bottle or, you know, a cleaning bottle of some kind, clean it out good and put water in it. and you'll come up with a nice effect. And you really don't have to put anything into your skies. If you're struggling with skies, it's a good, fun way to get the ball rolling. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pop in a little grass at the very, very bottom here, just to kinda round out that lagoon. Again, using the fan brush as a, a grass maker. A little darker now. Fun, fun, fun. Dry brushing it a little bit creates some really unique effects, not dipping it back into the water. You want that to be a little bit dry. You want the paint to be a little bit neater for that. And that's it. That is our finished, fun and easy painting. I think it turned out well. And I'll go ahead and I'll pop in a couple of birds. I have some viewers that really like the birds and like to remind me to add the birds. So now it's become a thing all of its own. I appreciate everyone who watches, comments, and supports. Uh, I'm on Patreon. If you go to my website, joemenza.com or joemenzaart.com, uh, you could follow in a lot of ways to support, communicate, and purchase paintings, purchase prints. You can get a print of just about any painting I've done, uh, almost any, and any original, and... Uh, those would come out really nice. I print those myself. I bought a really nice printer, and uh, they're really nice because you can get them in any size you want. Um, if they're not available in my shop, you can let me know. I can print you out any size uh, from uh, 5 by 7 and really end up. I can go up to about 15 by 17 I think, 18 somewhere in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in a couple of birds. And of course, on Patreon, don't forget you get extra videos over there. Videos are released maybe a little earlier. Um, come on over. Happy to have you. And for people who are a little more interested in just more than a beginner and they want to really get deeper in this journey that we're all on. It's a lot of fun. It really is. If you're watching for the first time, pick up a couple brushes. You can spend under $50 and... Uh, 
have a great time. You don't have to buy expensive paint. You don't have to buy expensive paper. You don't have to buy expensive brushes. And you can have a great time. Go ahead and sign. I can't find my pen, so I'm signing with my brush, which never works out for me. So that's it. Let's take a close-up view. And you can see that cascading into... We've got our water. Thanks for watching, everyone.